So I just want to directly answer the direct question to an ocean. Uh, someone, who is it? Nuck, Nuck887 on Reddit, the electric skateboarding Reddit thread. If you don't know it, check it out. It's, it's like the wild west of electric skateboarding um, social media. But anyway, Nuck says this to me. I'm curious what kind of expectations can the initial backers who have received their boards can look forward to considering the updates that were mentioned in your recent video update. Whoa, that was a mouthful. <laughs> no, basically, I think what you're trying to say is in my last video, I showed some new parts, some new developments, and you're worried that as an existing owner of a Raptor 2, that you're missing out. And I fully empathize with that. I understand that. And that's why I want to talk about it. Um, a lot of the changes that we made are DFM related. That means design for manufacturing. So does it make the product better to ride around on the streets? Mm, yes and no. So let's go into detail and talk about some of these changes. And I just want you guys to understand that all of this stuff that we're doing, you'll be able to get it if you want to get it. So it's not going to be like you're locked out and you can't upgrade and you can't change. The beauty of the Raptor 2 is it's super modular. These things aren't designed so that you can't do it. So the answer to that question is you'll be able to do it if you want, but you might not need to. So let's just dive in and look at some of the major changes. So the first major thing that we've been working on is this part here, which it's rubber. <laughs> it's basically um, designed to replace the slot that we had cut in the deck. It goes on top of the deck and it gives us a perfectly molded area for the battery box to fit in. Now, why is that good? Well, it makes assembly super easy. It completely eliminates any of the issues that we had with the cutout being wrong due to tolerance control. So it eliminates that because it's a molded part. They're always going to be the same. The byproduct of that is it actually creates an extra seal, a secondary ingress seal. Now, the issue that we had with the previous design was that when the slot was cut, inaccurately, it prevented the lid from being seated perfectly on the battery base. And that allowed water ingress, which is obviously not good considering one of the strong features that we really push with this is that it's water resistant. We make big claims about the fact that the electronics inside here are sealed from ingress, liquid ingress. Um, so this is just another step to improve that. So if you've had problems with that and you want to get this upgrade, you will be able to do it. Now, this is the bit that's a little bit uncertain and undefined yet because this part is designed to go on a deck that has a flat bottom on it like this, not a slot. So to upgrade to this, you do need to upgrade to this. So there's probably going to be a little bit of a cost involved to anyone who wants to do that, but we're yet to define that. We're gonna work it out and let you know in the coming weeks. The next thing that we did, which is pretty cool, and this is more like a, it wasn't really necessary that we did this, but we just thought it makes assembly a lot easier. And it's a little PCB that basically adapts the motor connections into the inside of the battery box. And we've made a few little changes to the rubber grommet that goes around it to improve the way that it seals in there. It's an extra step of us, of our commitment to um, water ingress protection. So you can see there, it makes a really nice seal around that part there. And the main reason this is a big advantage is in the assembly factory, when they're putting it all together before they had to thread the wires in through there and it was really time consuming and caused problems. You could break things and connect things the wrong way and it was a real mess. This way, 
it's really easy because the e-tray which has all of the electronics the motor controllers the fog boxes there that just connects directly into that now um, so quick and easy the sensor port is right there we're not feeding stuff through and then obviously the motors just connect there so they're the big changes that we've made um, will you be able to get all this stuff definitely we're not going to leave anyone high and dry here um, now the, I've heard some people say that I'm not going to buy a Raptor 2, I'm just going to wait because it's only ever going to get better. And that's a really interesting statement because the, the truth of the matter is, yes, it is always going to get better. It's, I'm never going to stop innovating. I'm always going to look for ways to optimize the design, improve the performance, lower the cost, make it better. I'm always going to do that and I'm always going to push forward. But if you wait for the best version of the Raptor 2, you'll just be waiting forever and you'll never have a Raptor 2. So that's why we started selling the Raptor 2 at a lower price because we sort of wanted people to get in early and secure their order and we had to do a discount to enable that. So the people who got in early with the money you've saved you should be able to afford some of these upgrades and update your Raptor to the latest version. I just want to clarify, if you do order a Raptor 2, like today or in the last few weeks or whatever, if we haven't delivered it to you yet, basically, these changes, we're gonna basically include them. It's gonna be how all of the Raptor 2s look from now on. So um, yeah, you don't have to pay for this stuff separately unless you already got a Raptor 2, then you need to contact us and ask how to get this stuff and we'll tell you the best way. So I hope that clears up your question, Nuck887, I think that was your name, and anyone else who was thinking the same, I hope it solves those questions for you. If you've got more questions, just write them down below or create a thread on Reddit or the Electric Skateboard Dash Club, electric-skateboard.club forum. I'll find it, catch us around.